So Danielle calls us today and we're going to see a girl named Evelyn. She is trying to sell off her father's Hal's collection. He collected everything. I mean, if it was collectible, he collected it. How are you doing? Are you Evelyn? I am. How are you Man. doing? I'm Frank. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, Evelyn. Hey, Hi. nice to meet you, Mike. Casey, going Casey on. nice to meet you, Frank. Hal was the greatest person I've ever met in my life. He had such gratitude for every day and moments throughout history. So I think he was kind of trying to show the good old days to everybody and trying to bring people back to yesteryear. What about this sign here that's been through a hurricane? If they're going to dismantle this place, I want a piece of it. How about this Windy Hollow Jamboree every Saturday night, 8.30? The Windy Hollow Jamboree sign, it's just a piece of plywood. You know, it's hand-painted. Their edges are all gone. It's rotted from the water, but it's so cool. It looks like it was outside for a while. It does. It's, it's some... probably painted just on plywood. It's a little rough around the edges. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so all, those, all of our signs were painted by a local artist here. What would you have to have for that? This, and maybe this other one, WBA or Car BR. WBKR's Country Music Jamboree. I gotta bring those in Music City. I know, I know. In the music home. Yeah, yeah, man. So for the for the three of them? For the three of them, yeah. Um, what do you think? 175? No, I was thinking 300. Each? <laughs> no! There you go. Oh. Talk him up. If you're at 175, I'm at 300. Yeah, I'm a mathematician, but that sounds like that's a good direction yeah, to go. Yeah, bust the abacus out. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Thank yeah, you, thank guys. You. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Thank you. Great posters up there. I love country music. I love the roots of it. I love the history of it. I'm just trying to get a feel of what the entertainer felt like when they were up there. Oh, there you go. That's a toy. Oh, oh, oh. He must have liked it because it was G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah. This is made by the Unique Art Company. It's got kind of rusty in the back here. Isn't he cute? Those are awesome. He's cute. Yeah. They made unique art, made a lot of these. They made all different types. They made Andy Cap. They made all kinds of different little things. This little guy. I find this unique art Jumpin' Joe tin toy. He would have jumped up back and forth. This thing would have went up like that, and then he would have went up like that back in the day. In great condition, those are a buck and a quarter. It's kind of rusty in the bottom and stuff. I'd do 40 bucks on him. That helps you out, any. Yeah, what do you think, Case? Sounds pretty fair. Yeah. That fair? He says go. All right. All right. Unique Art was one of those companies that wasn't in business for a long time. So they didn't make a lot of toys. So anything you can find that says Unique Art on it, buy it. All right, Frank, I'll get the heavy piece. Ready? Whoa, let's do this. This was the biggest Western collectible place I've ever been. I mean, they had something for everybody. It was mobsters. It was gangster stuff. It was JFK. I mean, I've never been in a place like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sugar. It was a we blast. moved a few things. Today was a lot of fun, and it's fun to be able to share the stories. It's also fun to go through and look at all the stuff and see things that you've forgotten about. It's nice to know that somebody else is seeing it and wants to preserve them. See you, Casey. See you, Evelyn. Bye, guys. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.